Hello there! This is a review for the Isabella Corsetry Victorian Corset. Here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. The center front of this corset is 11 and a half inches. The side is 9 and 3 quarter inches, and the center back is 12 and 1 quarter inches. This is a 20 inch corset. This corset has a six panel pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are three layers to this corset. The outer fashion fabric is a Greek key silk brocade in black. That is number 133 on the website. There are other color choices for the fashion fabric, but they vary in cost. This uh, particular fabric was $15 extra. The inner layer is 100% cotton as well as the lining layer, and the lining is black cotton. The lining color as well as fabric type now has options where you can choose between cotton and cotille, and that will be an extra cost. There is an invisible waist tape in here that you can sort of see on this angle. The busk has five pins and loops. It is fairly sturdy. It is a little over an inch wide and it is 10 inches long. The bust length does vary for the size of the corset. For an 18 inch to 26 inch corset, the busk is 10 inches long and for a 28 to 38 inch corset, the busk is 11 inches long. And that is for the busk itself and not for the fabric around it, which is about an inch and a half longer than the busk. When I had the bust loops together, I noticed that the pattern might possibly be pattern matched at the front. I don't know if that's just coincidental, but it's also a nice touch. The bones have been placed using the sandwiching technique where they stitch in the ditch down the middle and they place the bones on either side of the stitching line. And this corset is both single and double boned on the seams. There are 20 total bones in this corset, 16 are spiral steels and 4 flat. The single bones are at the front and the back here, and the 3 in the middle are double boned. There are 30 total grommets in this corset, and they are black, and the center 4 are set closer together. There are also 0 splits in these grommets. The modesty panel has been sewn into the side and it is 7 inches wide. The front is a black satin and the inside is a black cotton. The modesty panel is optional. You can suggest no modesty panel. You can have it sewn in like this one or you can even have it separate which I have had done for my um, Josephine corset and that was a stiffened modesty panel. The laces are the standard black flat nylon. They are ever so slightly stretchy. The laces have an option for ribbon or the flat nylon and you can choose the color. The binding is in black satin and it is stitched in the ditch on the front and neatly stitched on the back. Some of the stitching however does veer off in from the ditch and onto the binding itself but it's not very noticeable. The cost for this corset starts at $230 for a made to order version. I got to try on Birdie's or Silent Songbird's Victorian corset when I was visiting at Orchard Corset and it fits so well that I wanted to get my own so I finally did and I'm really glad that I did because this corset fits just as well. It fits almost as if it was custom made for my measurements and it was comfortable straight off the bat. I also can wear it for a lot of hours and it's also the perfect length for me. I hope you enjoyed this review and if you have any questions or comments for me you can leave them below. Thanks for watching!